In this section of the exercise, we'll be creating a usage based counter, in this case around valve actuation on our mixers. So in an earlier step, we created an equipment status using valve and RPM values. If we remember, our valve attribute had two values that could possibly be zero for closed or one for open. And in our equipment status, we used one to open to say that the mixer was running along with the RPM. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take that valve attribute and count the number of occurrences when that value goes from zero to one, basically closed to open and actuation. And we're going to look at that number since the last maintenance date. This can give us an idea of how many times a valve has been used, and we may have a metric that says replace after so many actuations. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Make sure you are on the Analysis tab and selected on Mixer 1, and we are going to create a new analysis called Valve Actuation. Once this analysis is created, we'll go ahead and change that variable 1 name to Actuation Count, and then we'll be using the Number of Changes expression to calculate the number of actuations that are curved on the valve. So the number of changes function takes an attribute as its first argument. And in this case, we'll make sure that's a valve. Then it takes a start time, which we'll say is the last maintenance date. And we'll use then star as the end time. So this case will tell us that a 0 to 1 and a 1 to 0 are both a change in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number of changes output and divide it by two to say this is a full closed open, open to close, right? A full actuation. So once we have this typed in, we can go ahead and map the output um, to the attribute we already have created called valve actuation count since maintenance. And we'll leave it event triggered on any input. Once this is set up, let's go ahead and click the evaluate to make sure our numbers look reasonable. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and check in. As with our other analyses, this is just currently on the Mixer 1. We will need to right click and convert to template and then check in to apply this to all mixers. Once that's done, our data should be flowing to our attributes. This completes all of our different metrics for usage-based maintenance. And in the next section, we'll be looking at this data in PyVision.